What's up guys, Skillionet here just checking out this latest patch, I'm sure it'll be a quick one because the patch is so small. Let's have a look at what we've got here, we've got some improved unit appearances. Uh, we got the camels, which let's be honest, they looked a bit goofy, looking much better on the left here. And the light knight has had a bit of a revamp too, so love that. Can't wait to see these lot in game. I will miss the fluffy camel, but you know, <laughs> it's what it is. Maybe someday they can bring it back as a skin, maybe. Hmm? New faction colouring, so this is actually something you might have noticed when you're turning on your team colors to make you green your allies yellow and the enemy red and since the green is like so saturated it's so bright whereas now it's like gonna be a lot more uh, easy on the eyes you know less painful to look at and you can actually see the symbols above the buildings which maybe isn't a big deal for us if we've been playing it for a while but if you're a newer player and you don't recognize what the buildings do the uh, flag at the top is telling you you know it's a barracks melee unit production the archery one has a has a bow you know stuff like that so I think it's um it's nice. It, it looks a lot nicer and that make, enjoys improves the experience. The Slovak language, Slovak language. So if you if you're into that, great news for you. Friends panel. This might not seem like much, but this is one of the reasons that I was like, I'll make a video for this. <laughs> okay, we're also used to sending each other codes, right? And that's fine. But what this shows to me is that they still care about core features of the game because they didn't have to do this. They could have just been like, look, we've got the player base we got, the game isn't growing, um, they're used to sending codes, whatever, like, no one's, no one really complains that much because everyone's so used to it. If you remember I did, if you've seen my other videos, you might have seen that I did a wishlist video. And you may remember that uh, the number 10 uh, of the top 10 was to add this feature. So for me, that was quite inspiring, you know, it's like a little, little ray of hope, a little, little uh, glimmer of, 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 of a, a brighter future to come potentially, yeah? Who knows, if they, if they add the number nine on my list, I'm going to start getting really hyped as they go up. <laughs> you never know, like, it could be a thing. Uh, we'll see, we'll wait and see, I suppose. It makes, our, at the very least, it's going to make life a lot easier. You know, like when you're queuing with your, with your teammate over and over, you have to send them a new code every time. Damn, that is long, so I'm glad that that's probably going to be over. I don't really know what this victory prediction thing is when watching the replays, but next time I cast a match and upload a video, I will let you know what that's like. Designing a wall of unacceptable size. So yeah, so so what this one says to me is that they've tried to fix the whole, uh, you make a wall and there's like a little error and then there's a gap in the wall you don't notice the enemy walks in. I mean, how infuriating is that? So this will now be marking it in yellow apparently. So it's more obvious to the player like, oh, this, isn't, this wall isn't gonna work here for some reason. I need to kind of adapt it slightly to make it fit. So yeah, great. Maximum shoal depth has been reduced by 40%. So this will reduce the shallow water zones. Interesting. I'm not entirely sure uh, what the thought process behind it was, but less shallow water. Um, does that mean less access to small fish? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Only time will tell. We have to play the game and find out. Updated the appearance. Yes, yeah, so we looked at those. This is great. And we've got some bug fixes here, which I think I'm just going to skip over. Um, but here you go for if you want to check it out, if any of these have been important to you. Some balance changes here. The mammoth's got some increased damage, so it's harder to take them down. Uh, so this actually lends even more credence to the strategy of building like three bulwarks next to one and let the bulwarks do the work. The ram. I'm not sure why the attack distance is reduced, but I guess it's a small little nerf because it has to move a little bit closer before it can do anything. Maybe it's because it used to be able to hit through walls or something. I'm just, I'm purely guessing here. I don't know. Maybe they're trying to reduce the kind of the, you know, stupidity of like, I don't know, hitting through a tree or uh, I'm not sure, but um, it's very minor enough. I don't think you'll really notice it. The barnyard of West Asia has increased the number of goats from five to six. This is actually kind of big for us West Asia players uh, because of the meat decay situation in the previous patch that I looked at in my other patch review video. Um, this is kind of a way to compensate for that for West Asia. So that's great. Uh, my stage needs as much help as it can get. I am, I'm not going to turn down a, a buff no matter how small it might seem. Abstract has had a buff to uh, how it's a squadron cannon. Of course, how it's own squadron cannon is available for many other countries as well. So this is basically a buff across the board to uh, how it's uh, and squadron cannons. To be honest, I don't really understand why they buffed the um, how it's the accuracy and the accuracy at, at range and the health i kind of feel like harrods were used a lot all the time by everyone because i mean I, I use it all the time anytime like i, I can uh but i guess they just wanted 
the ability to siege industrial revolution to be easier i suppose squadron cannon could have used a bigger buff than this if i'm honest i'm a bit surprised at how it's got more buffs than squadron cannon because squadron cannon i think kind of sucks i don't know it could have made it more accurate i'm not sure whatever um but hey it sucks less now so there you go and france this any freight france player right now this is what you wanted i don't play much myself but you this these they were unusable honestly aircraft carriers were so trash so unusable and they're still not ideal don't get me wrong but the fact that the pop went from five to two is kind of a big deal um because five was just so oppressive like it just not only were they bad but they took up so much pop and it's yeah anyway guys those are my thoughts um catch you in the next one